hello and welcome back to my channel today is day 49 of the geography gcse countdown today we are thinking about conflict in glaciated areas conflict in glaciated areas glaciated areas provide opportunities for development but that can also lead to conflicts quarrying rocks such as limestone slate and granite all have economic value but quarrying can lead to pollution of land and rivers and spoil the landscape Tourism can cause conflict with local landowners who have access to land. Local people may be affected by traffic congestion and rising house prices. And then water storage. Building reservoirs can conflict with the environmental interests and require flooding of farmland. Wind farms in the Lake District. Wind turbines produce renewable electricity. The Lake District is part of the UK that is good for wind farms. Its high elevation and westerly location expose it to the prevailing southerly, south westerly winds from the Atlantic. But the windstone turbines at the Kirkstone Pass. The Kirkstone Pass is one of the Lake District's most remote and beautiful valleys. The National Park Authority granted permission for three 16 metre wind turbines in 2011. The project was completed in 2012 at a cost of £150,000. The turbines provide power to the Kirkstone Pass Inn, which had relied on diesel generators for heat and light. Despite opposition to the turbines, local groups like Friends of the Lake District supported the scheme. They argued that turning to green power was good for the environment and it helped to secure the future of the pub and its employees. Conflicts between development and conservation. The proposal, Glen Riding Zip Wire. In 2014, Windermere-based company Treetop Trek put forward a proposal to construct a four parallel, one mile long zip wires among the Glendrig in Patterdale. The zip wires would run from the disused Greenside, Greenside Mine on land owned by the Lake District National Park Authority and end in the fields above Glendrig. Consider the idea and see if you think it's a good idea. This is what someone said. This is just another example of the conflict of interest within the park between the aims of preserving natural beauty and the heritage of the park and it becoming more commercial. There is much local opposition because it's likely to drive away many visitors who come to enjoy the peace and tranquility. We already have a huge range of out exciting outdoor activities for anyone seeking adventure. Someone else. We're pleased that Treetop Trek has listened to the very strong local opposition to the proposal and it has decided against applying to put a zip wire up on the open sided fell in this well lit valley. And then someone from Treetop Trek. Our priority is to balance the need to conserve our spectacular landscape while securing vibrant communities and being open to opportunities to enhance the economy and, and improve the offer we have for visitors. So I'm going to leave you with the question, explain how conflicts can arise between development and conservation in glaciated upland areas. It's a four marker, so I'll leave that for you. I do hope this has been useful. Please do subscribe if it has, and I will see you tomorrow for more. Bye guys.